Hey, what's up there, so first Today I'm going to show you how you can test your star motor and solenoid. What you'll need for this, this is a fully charged 12 volt battery, set of jumper cables, some alligator clips, but if you don't have alligator clips, a screwdriver will work as well. Alright, so here's a closer look at our assembly. This top piece is your solenoid, this is your star motor, and this gear here is what uh, cranks your engine when you get in your car and try to start your engine. So the way almost all starters work is basically on the back of your solenoid you're going to have three posts. You'll have a post like this and you'll have uh, usually a thick cable uh, supplying this post with a constant supply of uh, 12 volt battery voltage. And you also have a smaller terminal like this one and this is where you get uh, usually a single wire attaching to this uh, and that wire also supplies 12 volts and that 12 volts comes uh, from your uh, ignition switch whenever you turn the key to the start position. And then your third post which also sometimes looks like a post similar to this one is where you get 12 volts supplied from your uh, solenoid to your starter motor by a wire or cable that you can usually see attached to it. So a constant battery supply regardless if your key is in the ignition or not and 12 volts here only when you turn the key to the crank position or when you try to start the car. And 12 volts from this post to your starter motor only when you get 12 volts supplied to this signal post. And since your starter motor is attached to your engine block by the way of these two bolts, it gets its ground from your engine. Alright, so the first step is to attach our cables to our battery. Next we attach our power to this post where we get constant voltage. And the ground side to the casing. Make sure you get good connections. Next we need to supply 12 volts to the signal post, simulating a signal from our ignition switch. And you can get this 12 volts directly from the battery or it'll probably be easier to just get it from your jumper cables. And if you don't have alligator clips, you can just breach the gap with the screwdriver. You put one end on the signal post and then you just touch your uh, jumper cables. And if you have a good working starter motor and solenoid, this gear will come out and spin. Alright, here we go. Alright, great. So as you saw, this gear not only popped out, but it also spun without any hiccups. So we've got a good starter here. But let's say you do this test and this gear only spins in place and it doesn't come out. If that happens, it means that your starter motor is doing its job which is to spin this uh, gear but your solenoid is not working properly and it's not pushing this gear out. On the other hand, if this gear does not spin but only pops out, it means that your solenoid is working properly but your starter motor is probably shot. Now these days when you go to AutoZone and say you need a starter for your car, they'll give you something like this that comes with the solenoid and you can't really buy them separately. So if you do this this and one or the other is not working, just buy a starter and it will come with a solenoid. Also before you throw in the towel and go buy a replacement starter motor and solenoid, make sure you uh, inspect these posts very closely. Make sure they're clean of any corrosion. Like if this starter motor had failed when I did the test, before I go buy a new starter motor, I would probably take this nut out, uh, clean this post, clean this nut, uh, clean this uh, cable or wire that's going to our starter motor from our solenoid. Also clean this post here, maybe with a 400 grit sandpaper, just sand it down, make sure it's nice, clean and shiny. And then I will repeat the testing procedure and if it fails once more, then I will replace the starter motor and solenoid assembly. Now if you just found out that your starter motor is working properly but you're still having problems starting your car, then I would uh, recommend you watch this video. I'll put a link to it right here on the side of the screen. In that video I'll show you how you can properly test your uh, battery, which is uh, usually the culprit when you have a hard time starting your car. Especially since symptoms of a bad battery could be very similar to a bad starter or an alternator. And I'll put links to these videos on the screen and in the description box as well. And also you may want to consider following me on Twitter. I just opened my Twitter account a couple of days ago and I'll put a link to that in the description box as well. So yeah, I hope this video helps you out there. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more like it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.